What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now before we go any further, take a look at this example. Also, in Washington State, and while I won't get ahead of the ongoing response and rescue operations, we know that part of this tightly knit community has been lost. Uh, first responders have acted bravely despite still dangerous conditions. The American Red Cross has opened multiple shelters, and the people of Washington State have. So, as you can tell, we are using an Obama green screen. Now, the finished project of that only looks like this, so you can see it's pretty simple. Now, you'll see this part right here at the start and the end. I purposely left it as a green screen just so you could see the difference. So, first thing first, you have to go ahead and drag on your green screen file onto Sony Vegas like so. Now, you can probably tell I don't have a green screen. That is why I had to download one and show you this example. But, it's very simple to do. So, first of all, come to your video effects and chroma key. If you do not have this right here, come to view, windows layout and click default layout. After that, you can go and add a pure green screen. And you can see the background is now black. And this green screen isn't really the best. You can see there is a bit of a glow effect, I guess you could say, around him. And this is where you mess with the low and high threshold. The blur amount should stay at zero. This makes it more sharp on the side. So you'll see if we'll put this all up. It brings in like shadow effect and makes it blurred. Some people prefer to do that, but I don't really like it, as you can see. It looks better like that. And now you just have to mess with this. So you can see if you go too much, the color of Obama starts to go like that. So mainly the high threshold. Some of you may need to mess with the low threshold. And here we go. So you want to make sure the background stays completely black and you don't want Obama or whoever you're using in your green screen to glow a lot. So you can see if we go all like this, it starts to glow. So we'll go down a little bit like that. Now, this time, instead of Obama being in the background on music videos, I'm going to put him in Mount Everest. So, again, just download the other video off YouTube. It's a cinematic of Mount Everest. I'm just going to go ahead and shorten this to a part where Obama can come in. And I'm just simply going to drag it underneath like that. You can see, it's already already set up. So if we play this, Obama's talking in Mount Everest. Now, the way I sort of done a video switch in terms of background, all you've done, shorten it down, and then simply drag another background on. So this time it is an explosion I'm adding on. And yeah, this is a good example. See there are black bars here. Come to the event pattern crop. Simply come in like so. Like that. And then like that. And now right click it, click properties, disable resample, uncheck maintain aspect ratio, boom. Now fits full screen. And now Obama is gonna go from Mount Everest to a volcano in the background like now boom there we go Obama with uh, a volcano above his head and that is how easy it is to do so if I just take Obama away for a second you can see right there there is the actual background he is behind and there we go that is how you use a green screen it is very very simple like I said I got I got all of the videos off YouTube, I got this video right here from YouTube, this video from YouTube, the music videos of course from YouTube, so it's very simple to do. So that is it, that is how you use a green screen in Sony Vegas, as you can see it was very simple to do and requires very little time. Now I know my green screen footage wasn't the best simply because you could see the outline on Obama, but yours will hopefully be better when you go in to do this. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated what I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to go and check out my Snapchat where I'll keep you updated what I do throughout my day. Be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post 3-4 to four times a week. And finally be sure to go and check out my technology news channel where I'll keep you updated on the best technology news. That is it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.